welcome back to NRM 638, Spring Semester 2015. This is an e-learning class at the University of Alaska Fairbanks, and I call it Python Scripting for ArcGIS Applications. In this session, we're going to be working with the Update Cursor. So go to the Blackboard website and download this text file, updatecursor.txt. Okay, the first thing we'll do is in our geo database, we'll create a new point feature class and it's going to contain 10,000 random points. And then we're going to add a field to our 10,000 random points called integer field. And then what we're going to do is we'll calculate for those 10,000 random points using the field calculation geoprocessing tool, which is essentially what gets passed from your field calculator. And we'll compare the execution time of that calculation with if we just use the update cursor. The first will be using the field calculator tool. So this is essentially the same thing as what the field calculator gets passed to. So how many seconds will it take to execute this on 10,000 points? So it took five seconds to execute that on 10,000 points. Now contrast that with using the update cursor. So we're going to create an update cursor in the data access, and we're going to get the object ID field and the integer field. And then for each row, we'll make a new value, and that's going to be the object ID plus 100, and that will become the value for the integer field. So you remember it took five seconds to do this in the field calculator. How many seconds will it take to do in update cursor? So it took 0.47 seconds. So much, much faster using the update cursor than using the field calculator. So that's a huge advantage in using the update cursor. Okay, we also can use the update cursor to delete rows. So I'll we'll make a query, delete all the rows where the object ID is less than 1,000, and then use that query, and then for each row that's been queried, delete it. So then we can look at it in ArcMap. So now our random points start with an object ID of 1,000. Okay, we can do the opposite. We could create a list of the object IDs we want to keep, and then we'll loop through and delete any object ID that's not in this list. So if the object ID is not in our list, then delete that row. And then once again, we'll look at our result in ArcMap. So we'll grab our feature class from our catalog window and put it in our table of contents, and then open the attribute table. So now we're down to 10 points and object ID 1,000, sort 2,000, 3,000, etc. Okay, we can also use the data access search cursor to work with shape properties and change shape properties. So first thing we'll do is we'll use the copy features tool and we'll copy those 10 remaining points to move points and then we'll move these points north 10 meters. And then we'll use an update cursor on our move points. So for each row, get the shape field. And that shape field will be in this variable. And then from the shape field, there's only one point. We still need to get the first point because sometimes points are multi-part. So get the first point and then get the Y value and add 10 meters to it. And then finally, we'll make a new shape, which will be the original point that's been moved north 10 meters, and then we update that row. So then we'll press return and execute this. And then we can look at our move points compared to our original points in our. Okay, so here are our original points, and I've labeled them using the object ID and then we'll add our move points. So 
So then here are our move points and we can zoom in. So for example, 0.6,000 and we'll label our move points. So we'll label them using the object ID and we'll make the labels red and we'll give them a size 12. So the object ID changes because it's assigned by ArcMap when we create these points. And we can measure using the measure tool. So what's the distance from our original point up to our move point? So it is 10 meters. So I need to snap to it and then snap to this one and it is exactly 10 meters. Okay, so that's a bit about the update cursor. So now if you go to the Blackboard website, I've got a scripting assignment for you and there's different applications. And what you need to do is choose one of the problems to solve using a search cursor. So that will be your first script. And then the second problem to solve will be a script that will use an update cursor. So basically for this week, you'll be writing two Python scripts, one using the search cursor, the other script using the update cursor.